I'm going to be spoiling the current chapter of Fairy Tail 100 Years Quest, so please skip this video if you don't want to be spoiled. But demons are back in Fairy Tail, with Ferris the Black Wizard showing up a few chapters ago, and with chapter 164, we got the reveal of a whole new set of demons, the Orashion Sects, which are demons from the books of Ferris. We might actually be able to get the Demon Squad of Fairy Tail some time to shine. I'm talking about Grey and Mira because these two characters have been fallen to the wayside or have become irrelevant from their once prevalent and important roles in the entirety of the franchise of Fairy Tail as a whole. I'm super disappointed with how Grey has made a whole video of how he's become completely irrelevant and disappointing in 100 Years Quest. But this might be a chance to change that. Before we jump into this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell for updates on future videos. It really helps and it shows you guys enjoy the content I'm making on the channel and it shows you want to see more. I'm also partnered with Advanced GG, so if you want to get some great energy drinks, whether it be for editing, writing, going to the gym, what have you, go check out my link in the description below to get 10% off your order. Now then, on to the video. So Ferris blasting into Igneous Castle and essentially declaring war in that instance, was already hype enough. At the end of chapter 164, we got the reveal of a brand new set of characters, which are demons from the Book of Ferris. So it's not just the title of Black Wizard that Ferris took from Zeref, but now she's also taking his whole gimmick of having demon books. However, I'll go in an entirely different video going into Ferris at some point once we get more information about her and how she's doing things differently from Zeref in how she does things and how she presents herself. But the fact that she is literally creating these demons for the sole purpose of basically destruction, seemingly after getting out of his arm, we might actually get a chance to get some of the more prevalent characters that have to do with demons a chance to actually do something. Grey, in Hunter's Quest, has only had like three, maybe four fights that were actually good and stand out within it. Maybe five if you count that off-screen fight he had with Mira where he had his ass beat for a joke. It's... It's not really too hard to say or exaggerating a lot when I say that Grey has kind of gotten the short end of the sick stick when it came to the development outside of his relationship with Juvia, which I still kind of like, but I feel like we should have done more besides the Juvia stuff. He had no fights, he had no character growth, he had no big epic moment or stance against an enemy, whether it be a main, main enemy of an arc or a second in command to an extent. Close we got was in 11th tier, but even then, it wasn't anything too bombastic. In comparison to Fairy Tale, to the main series, where Grey had a moment almost every single arc that really showed his place in the story in his main group and as one of the best characters in that entire series. But on Andrew's Quest, he fell by the wayside, he got his ass beat a lot, and he didn't really contribute too much to big fights. But now, with the literal demons being showed up, the devil slayer that he is, he can actually do stuff. Not only will he end up being a huge asset, because devil slayer magic is great against demons, but he, if these demons also have curses, can use curses like the demons of Tartarus, then perhaps Grey will be able to be a very prominent force in dealing with said curses, since he is highly resistant or even immune to some curses depending on their strength. And I also go over Devil Slayer magic in a previous video, which is mostly dedicated to Grey and his father. But still, the fact that we have a literal Devil Slayer in a quest where there is dragons, showcasing that he hasn't really done anything, adding in demons, really feels like Mashima is being like, okay, I've let Grey not do too much, I have this idea, let me let Grey get some shine again because he is pretty cool. And it will give Grey some great opportunities to deal with different opponents. Now, how strong these new Arashion sexed members are, I have no clue, but based off their appearances, it seems like their abilities will be pretty varied. And we might get a series of one-on-ones. I would kind of hope and pray that Grey gets at least two fights against these guys, considering the Devil Slayer. But if any of these characters help Grey grow in a pretty in interesting way, maybe with a fight with Juvia, and eventually perhaps upgrade his Devil Slayer magic to a whole new level and perhaps give him a brand new transformation or an updated version of his Devil Slayer form, that would be really cool because I do think that Grey himself does deserve a power-up. I mean, in Hunter's Quest alone, Natsu can now willingly go into Dragon Force more often than not, can shift between all of his different types of flames that he's consumed. 
Urza is still Urza, and she has a Dragon Slayer enchantment that she can activate whenever she wants. Wendy is basically a Master Enchanter at this point. She had the Irene mode for a good two arcs. Lucy has her Star Dress mix. Grey had the has these had the exact same kit that he's had since the end of the OG fairy tale manga. So had introducing all these guys, all these demons, will most definitely give Grey a chance to grow and evolve for the future of this series. And for all we know, we could get more information on Devil Slayer magic, and it'd be pretty fun if there were more Devil Slayers in the series now we got more demons. I doubt the latter is going to be true, but at least for Grey to grow and evolve and maybe discover and do more with his Devil Slayer magic that perhaps he never really fully understood originally. This is a great opportunity for Mashima to further evolve Grey's character and his moveset and give him some big attacks and big fights with these new characters. But it's not just Grey, because I did mention, Mira might, hopefully, God willing, do something in the sequel. Mira only really participated in the old run arc, and she was brainwashed for basically that whole thing, and for a few scuffles at the end against Alderaan's cores, and all that stuff. And she has been gone from the story ever since. And look, I get it, we're focusing primarily on Team Natsu and whatever new characters we meet in Giltina. I get it. But now that we got demons, Mira, the literal she-devil, might get a chance. She has demon takeover magic, she has demon genes, that is what gave her an edge in the Tartarus arc originally. And while I do think Mira's role in Tartarus could have been a lot bigger, there was most certainly room for her to do more. She did a substantial amount in Tartarus, but it really just feels like that she got cut a bit short. But now we got more demons of the Book of Ferris introduced, varying abilities, and I just cannot help and hope that with literal group of demons being introduced, only one Devil Slayer, I think it'd be pretty cool if the other demon of fairy tale would actually be able to participate. And perhaps she could end up getting a brand new takeover from these Book of Ferris demons, like she did with one of the demon gates from the Books of Zareth. The Sela takeover was really cool when she ended up taking her over and took her form in Alvarez. That was a pretty fun reveal, and I wish she did more with that. Amira is an S-class wizard. She's supposed to be on par with Urza for a good chunk of the series. I most definitely think that Urza is stronger at this point, but Mira is still one of Fa supposed to be one of Fairy Tale's prominent S-class wizards, one of the strongest. And the fact that she has been fully utilized to her utmost potential, even at the end of Fairy Tale, is most definitely a crime, despite how good of a character that she is and how strong that she has been. And now that the rest of the main cast is I'd say stronger, Team Natsu is probably stronger than Mira at this point. I think that this not only gives Mira a chance to not only grow in terms of the power structure of Fairy Tale, but gives her a chance to showcase how strong her demon takes takeovers are and how she utilizes these and perhaps give her some brand new forms to take against these brand new demons. Fairy Tale literally has two demons on their team essentially, their own Demon Slayer squad if you will. And I just feel like Mira in particular, considering that she's had this type of power for literal years, has the best opportunity to really do something and grow and become stronger and to have some really huge badass moments that were definitely lacking towards the end of Fairy Tale. I would give Mashima some great experimental opportunities with Mira's character, her fighting style, and just whatever other abilities that Mira might still have in the tank that she's never used before. That is very possible. Maybe give Grey, like I said, a new transformation, brand new moveset. There's a whole lot that we could do. Heck, I would even love it if Mira somehow, on the side, while everyone was off on the Hunter's Quest, found an Ice Demon and had Ice Powers and have her team up with Grey, have an Ice Demon and an Ice Devil Slayer team up. That would be a match made in heaven in terms of a tag team fight. That would be really cool. I don't think that's going to happen, but that would be super fun. This could also be, if this does end up being a larger war than Alvarez, considering we have three separate ma major factions with their own groups in them, maybe we could have Grey and Mira lead their own teams of people to deal with the demons of the Book of Ferris. Heck, Juvia literally killed Keys, one of the demon gates of Tartarus, on her own, and she's pretty strong herself. So. Have her team up with Grey, having them do some really cool combo spells. That'd be really cool. Because those two, with their literal body count, 
are the literal Demon Slayer couple. I find that pretty funny. But that could literally have a good opportunity to have them lead squads to take on these demons or find a way to have maybe 2v1s if there is a vast power difference to the point where they can't handle things alone and that they would fight together. Mira will probably end up having Elfman by her side for all we know, maybe Lazana too. They're siblings, they tend to fight together. And hopefully, I like Elfman, I think he did a pretty decent job of being a pretty prominent character for the story, but I do feel like his role did diminish a lot post Grand Magic games. So this would be a good chance for him to grow as well and help out his big sis. Same with Lazana, as she's basically been a relatively nothing character. Let's be honest, she hasn't really had any development or any important roles in the story. In fact, she's the, mainly the main reason why Mira and Elfman basically were in very, predic pred very bad situations in two major arcs. So, give Lazana something. Just to make her do something and have her be a role. This isn't the type of video I wanted to say how much I'm kind of not a big fan of Lozana, but there we go. We could also have other characters just show up. Minerva was literally basically being turned into a demon by Tartarus. She definitely has some experience. Have her team up with one of them. There's a whole lot of different combinations that we could do for like actual demon slaying teams of characters that have not just fought demons by themselves like Loxus, Gajil. Urza, but let's be honest, these guys are probably going to end up fighting the Dragons of Fire and Flame and Ignea and the Dragon Gods for their own teams, which I can make videos on those, so that would be pretty cool to do also, but the main point of this is that Grey and Mira have had literally nothing to really do and shine for the longest time, Mira more so than Grey, considering that Grey only really hasn't really had much time and importance in the sequel, Mira kind of diminished post Tartarus, and even then Tartarus, she didn't have as big of a role as she should have. But this literally feels like Mashma course correcting and giving an opportunity for these characters that are so closely tied to demons in the fairy tale world to really show their stuff and honestly showcase and prove their power and worth in the story. Grey fans for the last couple of years have just been met with disappointment after disappointment after disappointment with his character as he's basically done not that much and has not had that many big instances throughout the sequel series, he's barring a few sparse moments. So I think that yeah, these new demons will give Grey the chance to shine, grow, and evolve for this future upcoming story arc for Fairy Tale. And in the mirror stuff I forgot to mention is if we extend beyond Team Natsu Athena, Elefsir, potentially Diablo, since the Dragon Gods are involved. If we expand out of the characters that are in Giltina, and Mashma brings in the rest of the OG cast of Fairy Tale for them to take part in, then Mira will most definitely have a part to play with the Demons of Ferris and the Arashion sex as a whole. So, hopefully, this gives us the chance to rectify some, let's be honest, disappointments with certain characters that we've had. And I really do hope that the that the She Devil Mira and the Devil Slayer Grey can finally showcase what they can do and give us some even more lore and cool fights with demons. Because Fairy Tale definitely would be would much benefit from a lot of this as well. But that's just my video and my honestly first thoughts on all this going forward. Leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. What do you think things could happen with Grey and Mira? And if they will truly get some time to shine with this brand new batch of demons in the story? Maybe if they get like their own demon slaying forces for all we know? And how do you think their characters in the future of fairy tales is going to be from this point forward? Let me know! And once more, like and subscribe and hit the notification bell for updates on future videos. It really helps and shows you guys enjoy the content I make here on the channel and shows you want to see more. Legitimately, Fairy Tale has been on an upward take as of late, and uh, I'm not sure yet. I might make more than just Fairy Tale Friday videos and just bleed out more videos throughout the week for Fairy Tale. I swear, if, if Fairy Tale keeps being hype, I might become become more of a Fairy Tale channel at this point. 